This is old love, too. Strobe is in the bathroom, dull sanctions for Mississippi. Tender staccato chatter, a world upon you after the tide came up and not a soul singing, just an oily crow, canceled appointment, house torn down. If we had held on, finished the soup, unsullied, were not herded by mistresses behind the walls, we'd think around each other today, a bright child with scrub cheeks and you the answering sort, hind legs, some smothering charm, lingered, had its appeal, and left. It's actually getting higher when the thing turns blue and disappears and all the light goes out of her eyes, will go out of her eyes, just think of it. Opposite the lantern trucks make their noises and bright heaven tangles its tendrils around our ankles, pleading like a sound does when nobody wants it. It's free, escapes like an ounce of air unattached, like a mouse runs into the room and under the bed for good. Well, it seems for good because it's never seen again. Just think of it, and a warm light falls quiet along a love, along a lovely afternoon. Damn pigeon for company. Plush facial covering made of cheese. Makes mama smile every time the whistle calls her back to the alley of prohibitive excellence. Lemon ohms make almonds after ankle hedges bleed, plum broke, out sock, one sock each, lock tack time like a serious feature in tall, tall socket makers. What wakes up little creatures makes up a song, murders ring back and forth, wake the pilot, wake the plunderer, wake the pallbearer, wake me when it's over. Get us up in here so someday when time begins, our owls will suddenly know what to say again. If we could only grow avocado, if only don't be so polite, it's killing me. Fogathon. If my pleasant bellow shudders before you, fly up, make do, skewer your breath, for example, or climb a hovering ricket. Another misguided citizen blows bubbles for gravity. I belong to gravity when fog is shrill. Slender rebuttal like splattering silk. Bend its clock, call its pansy mouse. Chew on sucker ice, a gold sky plant in a world of less gravity. A glass for seeing the old yard. A car potion for measuring angles. Touch this split or loom large and huffy. My quick lid sits, it, it hits no song, no future. My old story sound, long, draped over the melting it pox. Mix cream, stay out there, stay for the burly ocean cattle. Spread long, float edges, there is room for these season stunted angles, a fifth of which may be folded for a man named Larry who calls himself an old dog, a pilot, a bleach white afternoon under masterful, sun-made fingers, a tax for creating a taxonomic blueprint to feed the agnostics with the unsounded pleasures of the park-like feeling you get in some rooms. Three Large Swollen Things for Blaster. Um, the great writer Blaster Al Ackerman sent me a poem once that had the phrase large swollen things in it. So I took it and I wrote three stanzas of a poem using the first letter of that, the words of that phrase as the first letter of the lines. So um, the last Large Swollen Thing is an homage to his method of dealing with telemarketers, which was basically just to groan until they hung up. 
three large swollen things for Blaster. Lingering amidst our auger brigade, rigged up with fancy glows of bride entirely made of cotton, sticks to sin talk when it once fed, options evaporate quickly then, like it never lost anything, lint even, not without a certain inky grace. To be hewn from a huge hound in their suckling linens, nesting there like a gull out of season. Lope a gut rejoinder, gawking eagle-eyed. Speak where only limp-eyed lumpen eat names. Take heads if necessary, get sorted. Thank you.